Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name's David Edwards, and I can't smell what The Rock is cooking, but I can drink what he's drinking. Let's get into it. All right, it's great to have every single one of you back here today. We are making a Terramana Tequila Sour, and we're gonna make two versions of it. We're going to make one with egg white and one without egg white. And we're gonna do this side by side just so that we can compare how they taste. Now, I recently got my hands on a bottle of uh, The Rocks Terramana Tequila. And interestingly enough, I tried really, really hard to get this for a long time. It finally came to Canada and it sold out like that at my local LCBO. So I'm happy to have gotten it now. I get to try it. Now, I've been a huge fan of, oh yeah, uh, Dwayne Johnson since he was a wrestler in the WWE. And I've enjoyed a bunch of his movies. And I know he was a football player, but one of the things I didn't know is that he also played in the Canadian Football League, AKA the CFL, for Calgary. And that's pretty awesome. But I think it's better that he actually became a wrestler, became a movie star, and then brought us this. So let's give this a small sample test. Now it is a Reposado tequila, which means it's been aged in oak barrels. It smells great, absolutely smells great. Mmm. <laughs> this is a good choice. Oh, anyways, um, I'm not putting the lid back on that because we're going to use this right now, actually. So the first thing we need to do is grab your shaking glasses. And we're going to use the same amount of everything in each of these glasses. So we need two ounces or 60 milliliters of Reposado tequila. Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm going to have a good night. Oh. The next thing you need is some agave syrup. Now, if you don't have agave syrup, you could use a simple syrup. However, I prefer the 100% agave syrup. It will taste better. It'll match better with the 100% agave in the tequila. And we need for this three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. And really you wanna go with a scant three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mil, so more like 20 mils. The next thing we need is some lemon juice. Now we're going to use the same amount of lemon juice that we used for the, uh, uh, the agave. So what we'll do is we will use three quarters of an ounce, 22 and a half mils, and we're gonna just squeeze the crap out of this. Oh yeah, look at that. Move those over there, put that here. We're looking really, really good. Simple, easy as it gets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add one egg white to this. Now I'm using a large egg. You can use a smaller egg if you want. And if you don't want to use egg white because you're worried about E. coli, you could choose aquafaba, which is chickpea juice, or you could buy a Magic Foaming Bitters. Totally up to you for your personal preferences. Now what we'll do is we're gonna add some ice to this and we're gonna let this one uh, bake for a second. Now when I say bake, what I mean is the egg will begin to actually slowly cook with the egg yolk. So, sorry, the egg yolk will slowly cook with the alcohol and it'll begin to break the, uh, the proteins down as we shake it and shake it for a good 10, 10 seconds hard. And that's why you always take a moment to do that and then shake again. We'll let that sit for a moment. Can you hear that? That would be the expansion of the egg white. Wipe that down and then shake this. Now that we've let that sit for a moment, we're just gonna shake it again with just a little bit of ice. We don't want a lot because all we're doing now is just making sure that we have a good seal and we're chilling our glass down and this will finalize our form. Foam. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Oh, there it is. The lock is done. Move that over here. Pop this over here. Make sure your hands are clean. And what we're going to do is we're going to use two different types of glass. This will be for my regular sour. This will be for my egg white, just because I like it, it looks fancy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some ice and fill these in both. And now, what you wanna do is you wanna strain these, and we're going to fine strain both of these. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Grab your bitters. And this is perfect timing. I'm using Angostura bitters. And we're going to put four drops in each glass. And that's mostly for the aromatics more than anything else, but it will give you an extra little depth of flavor. Grab your garnishes. In this case, I'm using desiccated orange wheels. And look at that, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't wait to try these out. So first let's try the straight sour. Smells really, really good. Mm. Oh yeah, the tequila shines beautifully. You've got a hint of sweetness from the agave and the lemon just cuts it beautifully. Mm. Let's try with the egg white. Smells good, but again, anytime you have a cocktail with an egg white in it, it usually mutes the smell and provides a silkier mouth. Again, really, really good. The taste doesn't differ much between them and it shouldn't. However, the tequila actually shines for me personally a bit more in this one. I'm not sure why, must be all the protein. Mm. Oh, two great cocktails. I'm gonna be having a good night. What I'll do is I will put the method and the ingredients of how to make both of these down in the description down below. If this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. After <sighs> breathing, Dave, all that shaking took it out of me. But if you'd also like to support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You know what? You have a great night. I remember when he played wrestling, when he played wrestling, when he, it stopped. Now, The Rock, AKA, well, 